I'm going to be answering the questions to the Soul Resolutions tag. And I was tagged by Made by Pam. Thank you so much for tagging me. And I'm very excited to answer these questions. So I will be reading the questions and I will go ahead and get started. So the first question is, what is your favorite make of 2018 and why? And my favorite make of 2018 is actually McCall's 5843. It is a really long dress and I do plan to make a video showing that dress sometime in the future. I'm not sure exactly when, but I will be um, happy to make a video about it. And the reason why it was one of my proudest makes is because it was a labor of love. It's very long and it has a whole lot of gathers and it took a lot to get all the gathering in to a point where I felt happy about the way that it looked. And the dress is super, super long, like it was sweeping the floor. So I ended up cutting some of it off and then I didn't like the way um, the length was after I cut it. So then I went back and add, added the length back on and it was just, it was just a bunch of work. But in the end, I really liked the way that it turned out. Um, I haven't worn it yet because it's long and it's flowy and it's got all these gathers and I'm like, where am I going to wear this? But I really, really like it and I, I would definitely say that it is one of my proudest makes of 2018. Okay, the second question is, what did you attempt in 2018 that you won't do this year? So that would be making undergarments or intimate apparel, aka panties. <laughs> I haven't made a bra or attempted to make any bras or anything, but I did make a couple of briefs. And I mean, they came out okay, but I wasn't a super fan of the uh, whole making process. And I don't know, I was able to use some scraps, so that part was good. But I guess it just wasn't anything that I see myself doing in the future. So it was nothing wrong with it, but it just wasn't something that I was, ooh, so excited about doing. And um, I was like, okay, I tried it, but I don't think I'll be doing that again. So that will be the answer to that one. Number three, what will you continue to make? Let's see, what did I write? Oh, I will continue to make bodysuits because I love them. And I will also continue to make vintage patterns. Sometimes I'll get on Etsy and I'll see what kind of vintage patterns are out there that catch my eye and then I'll order them and make them up. Um, I don't have that many of them, but I do have a few and I really enjoy making vintage patterns. So that's something that I plan to continue doing. Number four, um, what will you try this year that you haven't tried before? Um, oh, I know, I wrote it down. <laughs> what I will be trying this year is scrap busting, which I've already started. And that was my, I made something a couple, couple videos ago and I showed it where I used some scraps and that was my first time doing that and I really love the process. So, um, you know, in the past I would just get rid of my scraps, but now I've been thinking of ways to use them and I've been really happy with the results. So that's something that I plan to continue to do because I've been really happy and satisfied with the way things are turning out. And number five is where do you see your wardrobe at the end of this year and where do you see it in five years time? So at the end of this year, I plan to have more pants in my wardrobe that I have made. Um, I don't have very many. I have a couple, but not many. So I do um, plan to make more pants. And in five years, I will hope to have more garments in my wardrobe that are from indie or independent pattern designers. I only have maybe one or two. I have one thing that I have sewn from a... Um, from an indie pattern and then I have one other pattern that I haven't sewn yet. So I'm hoping that in the next five years that that will change and I will have more garments that I have made or added to my wardrobe from independent pattern designers. Yeah, so those are all of my uh, resolutions for this, uh, this tag. And before I go, I have to leave you with a love share. So this is something that I learned recently, years, and this is that you can now pay your taxes with cash at one of 7,000 7-Eleven stores in 34 states. Before you can just walk in and make a payment though, you have to get a pay near me code um, to take with you when you go into the store and you can get the code after you complete the necessary steps on the IRS cash payment page. So I thought that that was interesting. Who knew that you can pay your taxes in cash at a 7-Eleven store? So, 
that is it and I want to thank you so very much for watching and again thank you so much Made by Pam for tagging me. So before I go I just want to tag four YouTubers and um, I apologize if you've already done this before but if you haven't and you're interested I will go ahead and tag Viv Mom, Viv Mom Souls. Melissa Linares YT, I hope I said that right, DIY Raven, and Candace B. Sewing. So thank you all for watching, and I will see you next time.